Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Um, I scored today off of work, so um, I'm gonna do a couple of reviews. Yesterday was a really good day. My girlfriend come home. Uh, she was she had the she had yesterday off, and I come home from work, and um, she brought me a Star Wars T-shirt, which is awesome. It's Vader. It's got Vader written on it. it looks wicked. I can't wait to I can't wait to wear that one out. Um, and underneath it was a bag, and I, I didn't I didn't know what it was, so I, so I sort of left it. Well, I think I thought it might have been hers. Um, and she said, oh, do you, did you see what was in the bag? And um, I said, no. She said, that told me to have a look. And uh, yeah, she'd been out on the hunt for me. My girlfriend hunts for action figures while I'm at work. How good is that? I should marry her. I really will. <laughs> but she picked up Luke and Ahsoka for me. Um, I was absolutely stoked. I couldn't believe it. Um, in fact, she'd actually gone out of her way on her during her day's travels and um, went hunting for these for me. So today I'm going to be. I'm just going to record both these. Um, I'm just going to record both of these reviews today. So we'll start with Luke. This is number twenty-one from Wave Six of this part of the Black Series. You know, with the red. Um, but it's Wave Two of twenty sixteen. So, however, you, it, it comes in the Wave Six case assortment. That's what Hasbro print on the cases. So I'm just going to go with Wave Six. Um, but like I said, number twenty-one. Because we had, yeah, we had one one wave that had like two figures in it, so it was a bit strange. Um, two new figures, the rest were sort of packed forwards. But yeah, like I said, Luke Skywalker in his farm boy disguise. It says on the back here, casting aside his humdrum life on Tatooine in favour of galactic adventure, Luke Skywalker learns the ways of the Force under Jedi Knight Obi Wan Kenobi and quickly ascends to rebel leader. So this is, this is um, I'm look, looking forward to this one. I've been looking forward to this one. When it was announced, oh, I thought, uh, but anyway, let's have a close look at him. All right, and here is Luke out of the packaging. Quite impressed with this figure. Um, this is probably one of my least anticipated, to be honest, particularly out of this wave. Um, the initial shots of the soft goods, I just thought, why, why are you doing something different? You know, you've you've made all these other characters with their um, partial soft goods, but mostly they're all molded. Um, but having it in my hands, I'm I'm actually quite glad they went that way. It's um, yeah, it's interesting. I haven't taken the I haven't taken his uh, shirt off yet, and I'm I'm not going to. Um, I haven't found a way to unclip the belt. It looks like it's actually glued. Um, I feel like one little accessory they could have done with this, and it's the same with what they did with the Han Solo, and that is include the swap out belt for the Stormtrooper belt, so we can reenact those scenes from the uh, Death Star escape, um, and maybe give him his grappling line like they did with that um, that uh, Death Star escape look from the Vintage Collection a few years back. Um, I feel like that would have absolutely topped this figure, but like I said, um, I'm really impressed. I'm a lot more impressed than I thought I'd be. Um, The uh, face facial sculpt is actually actually really good. Um, the paint's not too bad either. It's pretty simple. They haven't gone like as Hasbro did. They don't go into too much detail, but it's a good proportion size to the rest of the body. Um, I do feel the robe is. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I, was, I still haven't made my mind up. I kind of feel like it's a little big. Um, it just feels a little bit baggy around the arms, but. You go, go, go and watch a new hope, and it's it is yeah, it is quite a baggy like shirt. So um, overall, not bad. His accessories he comes with is his um, macro binoculars. This is a strange accessory, but it's not bad at all. So what it has is it's got a bit of a clip there, as you can see, and it just sort of bends back. You just sort of slip that over the belt. No, it looks okay. Looks pretty good. And then we also have his lightsaber. Which for the most part is okay. They've missed out the black details on the uh, handle though, which is a you know I can I can chuck them on with a texture and that's not a problem. With a uh, marker of some sort, I'll draw them in. But again, we've got the removable blade. That was a bit tight actually. But that's okay. And that obviously hooks onto the uh, belt there, which is nice. I mean, obviously it doesn't hang there lit, but um, yeah, like I said, I feel like that Stormtrooper belt would have been a nice accessory to switch out. 
um, that little his little comlink there is attached. All the pockets and belts and buckles and stuff look nice though. Got another pouch on the back, couple of pouches there. So they've done a good job. Um, the straps on his legs look good too, and the pants look nice. I'm not gonna do it. But if you want a want a Luke chest shot, that's uh this is like the uh, Power of the Force version now, isn't it? You've been to the gym six times a week, but anyway, articulation's really good as you can sort of see there up his arms. He's got the double joint and elbows, which I feel like some of the figures are missing a lot of. But the fact that this is hidden well, it looks quite good. Um, I feel like more of the Star Wars six inch figures could do with those double jointed elbows, particularly the Jedi that are holding holding a weapon with two hands. It would be better to give them that ability. But overall, I'm, I'm quite impressed with this figure, more so than I thought I was going to be. I'll just put this lightsaber in his hands. And if you're gonna do the uh, Stormtrooper belt, they could have added in the uh, E11 blaster. Um, just as another accessory that I feel like they just would have topped this figure off in a big way. Um, neither or either way, I'm excited for Leia coming in the next wave or the wave after. Um, I think we've got a couple of decent waves coming up, um, and I'm pretty sure Leia's in the next wave. So, really excited to have a, a new hope Leia. But. Before I finish up, I'll give you a quick 360. This should be coming up pretty good on your on your screens because my camera, I'm using an iPhone 6s now and that records in um, 1080 and 4K. I'm not sure what I've got it set on at the moment, but it should come up pretty clean. But uh, yeah, I hope, I hope we don't see any Lukes for a while unless they're going to do an episode 7 Luke. Um, by all means, chuck out an episode 7 Luke. But apart from that, they can probably give the Luke Skywalkers a rest for a while, I think. Um, we've had we've got most of them now. Well, most of the different Lukes. I can probably think of three off the top of my head that could be, could be done differently. Three or four. But we don't need them all at the moment. Give us some different characters. We've got a lot of Lukes. We've got a few Hans now. But uh, like I said, give us an episode 7 Luke, um, if they're going to do another Luke. Alright guys, stick around for some photos at the end. I'm going to pose this guy up as, as I'm going to start doing now at the end of my videos. And there was a brief interruption due to not enough storage to record the video. So, like I said guys, as, um, as I was saying, stick around for some photos afterwards. I'm going to pose this guy up and like, I, like I'm going to start trying to do with all my videos. So... Until my next one, guys, stay tuned for Ahsoka next, and may the Force be with you.